Hey guys, welcome to Toy Box TV Top 5. I'm Allison. I'm Tyler. And that's Justin. <laughs> Justin must be wiped out from all the amazing Sleeping Beauty toy boxes we got for the Sleeping Beauty Challenge. I hope he's okay. Uh, Justin? No, I'm late. I'm, I'm late. Uh, I think that means let's start the countdown. Number five is a race against the clock to stop Maleficent's curse. Here's Fighting the Curse by Sumerian. Aurora's 16th birthday has arrived and Maleficent has been unable to lift the curse that will send Aurora into an eternal sleep. Can you delay the curse long enough for Prince Philip to arrive? The timer starts at 100 and slowly goes down over time. Defeating a monster earns you time, but defeating the palace guards doesn't do anything. They're just a distraction. Isn't it cool how Sumerian incorporated the three good fairies too? Yeah, they fly around the castle and drop potions that can increase your timer. Keep an eye out for the yellow dots on your map. Justin, do you have anything to say? I can't find my keys. I think that translates to awesome job on this toy box, Sumerian. It was a very creative and definitely challenging toy box. Totally. Job well done. Congrats, Sumerian. No! Are, are you okay, Justin? Oh, I had a really bad dream. I thought you guys did the top five without me. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, we did, but you're just in time to announce number four. Mm, well, at least I'm not too late to the party. Number four brings back a toy from 1.0 and puts an interesting spin on it. This is Curse Liftoff by F. Daniel IX. Maleficent has put a curse on you with a spell that turns you into a crow. Fly around the castle and surrounding forests and collect ingredients to cure this spell. How fast can you do it? You also have to fly through all of the pixie dust rings in order to cure yourself from the spell. And you can get a free churro! Uh-oh, somebody hold Allison back. Once you've got all the ingredients, you're free! But then you realize that flying was always your childhood dream. Womp womp. This was a really cool toy box, and kudos for bringing back the crow wing pack. Yeah, not many people think to look back at all of the old 1.0 toys and creating new creations. Congratulations! Awesome job, F. Daniel IX. Are you guys ready to join Prince Philip on his quest to save Aurora? The number three toy box goes to The Quest of Prince Philip by CC Runner 524 Fans of Toy Box Takeover are totally going to love this one. The overview camera and the onslaught of enemies totally feel similar. Agreed. This combat-heavy toy box is also a great place to level up your figures. There's also a pretty sweet animated block art of the Maleficent Dragon at the end. Oh yeah, that was such a cool boss fight. Try not to touch the claws or the fire, or your toast. You guys totally rock this challenge. Keep up the amazing work. Yeah, congrats on ranking at number three. In the number two toy box, it's your turn to put Maleficent to sleep. Here's Nap Time for Maleficent by The Baroness 89. Maleficent has cast a spell to hide all the treats for your party. However, if you put her to sleep, all the treats in the area will reappear. Collect them as fast as you can because she won't sleep for long. I really like how different this toy box is from a normal collection quest. Each area has 10 treats, so collect as fast as you can. Oh, trust me, I'll run for pizza. To put Maleficent to sleep, all you have to do is sit the sleepy flower next to her. Why didn't King Stefan think of this before she cursed Aurora? Yeah, that would have come in handy, wouldn't it? Can you collect all 50 treats before Maleficent wakes up? Better move fast. Yeah, a lot is on the line when it comes to food. Congratulations. Okay guys, let's announce the number one toy box. You mean toy boxes, Allison. Boiler alert. The number one toy boxes are Sleeping, Sleeping Beauty, Beauty, Battle, Battle of the Forces of Evil. Evil, parts A and B by Diz Explorer 03. In the number one toy box, go on a dungeon crawler adventure and relive the climactic battle from the classic tale Sleeping Beauty as you escape the Forbidden Mountain to rescue Princess Aurora from the diabolical Maleficent. Then move on to part B and fight the epic boss battle with Maleficent Dragon. This explorer who rocked that block art. And the cutscenes, this toy box is top notch. You mean these toy boxes are top notch. Guess there's too much top notch to contain it all in one toy box. It's really cool how Diz Explorer programmed this toy box to where every time you defeat a wave of enemies, you can stand on top of the debris and cast a really cool looking spell. Yeah, this was totally deserving of the number one spot. Congrats on another winning toy box, Diz Explorer. This week's rising star takes us on an epic journey to find Aurora and save her from the evil Maleficent. 
let's check out Dream or Spell by Creative 2013. Aurora's disappeared, and you are the only one who can find her. Use the help of the fairies to travel to the Forbidden Mountain, battle with Maleficent, and save the princess. Turns out the three good fairies were turned into orbs. You'll need them to aid you on your journey, so collect them and be on your way. There's a princess to save. Travel through the forest and defeat monsters in the thick fog until you find yourself at the drawbridge of Maleficent's castle. This is not a place you want to be. Maleficent sends a hundred of her toughest goons to fight you away. But that's not all. Then you have to defeat more enemies protecting the bridge. Can you get in and save Aurora from her impending doom? Nice job on this toy box, Creative 2013. There was definitely a lot of action in there. Yeah, we can tell you poured a lot of work into your toy box. Congrats on being featured. Keep up the great work. Congrats again to all of today's featured artists. With the Sleeping Beauty Challenge behind us, it's time for the next challenge. The, the Boss Battle, Battle Challenge! challenge. After all the epic boss battles we saw in the Sleeping Beauty Challenge, we hope to see even more amazing and innovative battles in this challenge. The only rule for this challenge is that it must include a boss battle. You can use the boss fight spawner to bring bosses like Syndrome and Darth Vader into your toy box, or create your very own unique boss fight. And I recommend downloading boss bashing from community content for even more inspiration for boss battle toy boxes. Submissions are due by Wednesday, February 24th at noon Pacific time. Don't forget to include hashtag boss battle challenge in the description of your toy box so we can find it. Good luck building your toy boxes. We cannot wait to see what you come up with. That's all we have for this week. Thanks for watching and give this video a thumbs up for all the awesome Sleeping Beauty toy boxes we saw today. And guys, hit that subscribe button so you never miss another countdown. Keep up the awesome work on Valentine's Day Love Letter La Bamba. You have less than a week to top the leaderboards. We'll be sharing the top scores here on Toy Box TV at the end of the month. Also, we want to know what kind of challenges you guys want to see. Leave a comment below and let us know what kind of Toy Box challenge you would like to participate in. Have a great weekend, guys. And remember, if you can dream it, you, you can, can do, do it. it.